we have seen what are functional dependencies or what are the different operations we can perform on functional dependencies now we have to start the next topic here that is called as a decomposition 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 means if you have a given relation then you want to break this relation into one or more, uh, two or more than two different relations for example if you have a relation a b c now you want to break this relation into separate parts like we can create a relation r1 which is having a b as attribute and we can have a relation r2 which is having b c as attribute so decomposition means decomposing a single relation into uh, two or more different relations in such a way that if you combine these two relations again then the decomposition should be lossless then the decomposition should be lossless lossless means you should not get any extra attribute as, as well as you should not get any uh, less attribute as com uh, less values as compared to the previous case okay so let us see what is decomposition for okay i'll come to the lossless decomposition point later on right now first of all we'll start with what are joins right and here we are going to discuss about what is a natural join and if what happens if you do a natural join versus what happen if you do a uh, cross product cross product of two tables we'll start with what is a natural join and what is the cross product of th these two tables and after understanding the natural join and cross product of two tables and we'll see what is a decomposition and uh, how can you say a decomposition is lossless or how can you say the decomposition is lossy the decomposition is lossy okay so first of all let us start with what is the difference between the natural join what is the difference between the natural join and the cross product and cross product okay assuming that we have the relation r this is the first relation which is having the following uh, attributes and this i'm going to give you some values assume this is the relation r and it is having the attributes a and b and these are the values of the attributes it is a1 b1 it is a2 b2 and a3 b3 and assuming that we have a relation s the second relation which is s and it is also having the same attributes that is or uh, let us assume it is having a different attributes that is c and d and the values of these attributes are c1 d1 c2 and d2 number one if you are going to do r cross x that means the cross product of r and s if you do the cross product of r and s then you are going to get one more relation and that relation will be containing the attributes which are a b c and d a b c d right and it will be containing approximately six tuples it will be containing six tuples right why it is six tuples if the relation r is containing n tuples and the relation s is containing m tuples then r cross s should contain n cross m tuples right here you can see there are three tuples and here there are only two tuples so three into two is six and what are those values which we are going to get that is a1 b1 c1 d1 a1 b1 c2 d2 a2 b2 c1 d1 a2 b2 c2 d2 a3 b3 c1 d1 a3 b3 c2 and d2 that means you have to combine every tuple with all of them that is r cross s now if you take r natural join with this r natural join with this then what are the tuples you you can get in this case again see if if this relation is not having any attribute is in common then natural join will act as a cross product okay this is a b c and d now you can see if these relations or you can see the attributes of the relation r if i say attributes of the relation r intersection attributes attributes of relation s if the intersection is equal to phi <coughs> that means the relation r and s are not having any attribute in common then the natural join then natural join 
natural join will act as act as cross product cross product okay for example here you can see you are again going to get a1 b1 c1 d1 a1 b1 c2 d2 a2 b2 c1 d1 a2 b2 c2 d2 and a3 b3 c1 d1 a3 b3 c2 d2 these are the values you can get in terms of natural join okay now what if they are having some uh, tuples in common assuming that this is the relation r this is the relation r uh, sorry what if they are having some attributes in common it is containing the attribute a and b and uh, this is representing the relation s it is containing the attributes which are b and c and assuming the values are a1 b1 a2 b2 a3 b3 and here in the case of s we are having the attributes as b2 c1 b3 c2 b4 c6 and again b3 c3 assume these are the values which we have okay now if i take r cross s in this case see uh, this only difference is here they are having no attributes as common but here in this case they are having one attribute as common that is b now if you do a cross product of these relation then you are going to get four attributes that is like this we are going to get a b b c oh the cross product will become very large here okay so because if this this is containing a total of m attributes or you can say n attributes sorry this is containing a total of n tuples and this is containing a total of m tuples then r cross l sh n sh s should get n cross m tuples okay for example here there are three tuples and here there are four tuples so we should get 12 tuples so this table will be getting 12 tuples and all the tuples will be like this a1 b1 b2 c1 a1 b1 b3 c2 a1 b1 b4 c6 a1 b1 b3 c3 and so on that means every tuple will be combined with the other tuples okay with r crosses but if you take r natural join with this here it creates a difference here it creates a difference as compared to the previous case now if we take the natural join now in case of natural join you can clearly see this one tuple one attribute in common so we will not take this attribute twice so we are going to get three attributes here that is a b and c now we will combine only those tuples we will combine only those tuples which are having uh, the values of b as common for example here you can see b1 is here but b1 is not in s so we are not going to take the entire tuple right here you can see b2 is here as well as b2 is here so b2 is there therefore this tuple these tuples will be combined so we should get a2 b2 and c1 okay next you can see what is the next value which is common here b3 is here and b3 is here, as well as b3 is here and b3 is here so we are going to combine combine these two rows so we are going to get a3 b3 c2 and a3 b3 c3 that means you are only going to get three tuples here okay so when we do a natural join natural join means if r and s are not having any attribute as common then natural join will act as a cross product but if r and s is having some attributes as common that means that intersection of attributes of r uh, with attributes of s if that intersection is not equal to phi then we are going to get the attributes which are not common like a and c are not common as well as the attributes which are repeating both of them we will take them only once and we will combine those tuples where the values are matching like here b2 and b2 are matching so we will combine these tuples here b3 and b3 are matching so we will combine these tuples so that is why we are getting three tuples here okay so this is the difference between the natural join and cross product now when we are doing uh, decomposition decomposition means if there is a relation r then we can break this relation into multiple relations now after breaking these relation into multiple relations if we combine these relations that combination can be using cross product or that combination can be using natural join if you are going to combine this relation then you should not miss out any value which is present here right for example if there is a tuple which is present here that tuple should come here as well as you should not get any extra values 
like if some values are not existing here that you should not get those extra values here then that kind of decomposition is called as lossless but if you are either you are getting some extra values or you are losing some tuples which are mother that means uh, the tuples which are present here but not here if you are losing some tuples then the decomposition is called as lossy decomposition so our aim is to get lossless decomposition to get lossless decomposition let us study in the next video what are the things which we have to do or how can you break a certain relation so that you can get a loss lossless decomposition okay